Hello. In this recording, we're going to show you how to actually post a blog in Art Neko. So, what I've done here so far is all I did was copy Holly's actual uh, email that she had sent me. That is the content of her blog post. Uh, you want to create your blog post uh, on a pages format or, or something else and then copy and paste it into the website. It's better to do it that way uh, than try to create it directly onto the website. Uh, so I did that. We have selected the category of Holly Brown because this is Holly's blog post. So when you post a blog post, it will have your name on here. You go through categories, find your name, and then click it. Um, the other important thing here is we have uh, multiple categories. Uh, they're really all for the um, different designers. And some of them are for designers that used to be associated with Art Neko. Some are the current designers. Anyway, this is what we have here, Holly Brown. You don't want to publish it immediately. The first thing I want to do is select a title for this blog post. And I'm kind of looking through here. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to call it Tea Time in the Orient. Um, with Art Neko. That's what I'm going to call it. And then I want to edit this. This just happened. Um, and I don't really like that heading for it. So it's going to be Tea Time, all little letters, Orient. Actually, I'm going to Tea Time in the Orient. We'll call that OK. That's perfectly good uh, title for this. This would be the actual URL right here. Uh, but keeping this Art Neko in here ties it into the website. You can be more creative with your titles. This is just the first one. And now we want to add a image for it. So I already uploaded an image and I'm going to go here and I go to my I go to I click in where I want it to be. I go to add media. And we already have the image in the website. It's this one right here. And it is, should be there, right there, got that. And um, I'm going to say card by Holly Brown as a caption. Because I think that's a, a good caption for this. I could actually say um, tea time. Time in the Orient card by Holly Brown. And then I also want to put in an alt text. And I'm going to say stamps and images of tea time. Um, for Art Neko stamps, rubber stamps. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to have something that people who can, are visually impaired will still have a, a screen reader that will read that alt text to them. And then I'm going to go down here and make sure that this is in Holly Brown's categories because I don't know if it was added in there already. There. There. I click that. I'm going to now say Make sure before I do this, before I insert it, I want it to align to the left. And I want it to link to an attachment page. And let's put it in medium size to begin with. We'll see how it looks. And now we still don't publish. We only preview. <laughs> okay? Don't publish yet. We're just previewing. So this is how it looks in the preview. And that's pretty good, a pretty good size. It might be nice to have a bigger image of this. Um, so, I, gosh, that's a good question. Should I do it? Yeah, sure. I'm going to have this actually a little smaller right here. 
I'm, I clicked out of preview. I'm going back into edit. And I'm going to size this a tiny bit smaller. Custom size, maybe make it um, 200 square. And um, update this image. And then down here, I'm going to add it as a full image because I can add it twice. Hit it again. It already has a uh, full size. So it just has it's really the same thing on there, the same caption, same alt tag. If you scroll down, it still has is marked for Holly Brown. Keep scrolling down. This time, I want it on the right. I want it, yeah, centered, and I want it full size. And let's insert into the post. And I think that will go just fine. I am now saving this draft again. I want to preview it again. Before I save the draft, I want to preview it. I kind of like how this looks. You can be welcome to try out other things. But this looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, it has a little bit here in her happy, smiley face. And, her, of course, her bio and picture. Before I do anything else, I'm going to check and make sure that these links will work. So I click on it. Yes, it goes to about our accents. I click back. And I'm going to check and make sure this link works. Yes, it goes to Art Accents. Very good. Click back. That's really important. And back here. This will publish immediately and will automatically go to our uh, Facebook page as well. And we're really close to what I think should be done in here. I do want to add some tags. And that's one thing we haven't uh, don't have any tags in here yet. I'm going to be the first person to tag tag something in. And I think that I am going to call this tag. Um, I'm going to use vertigris embossing powder as a tag. And maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe you guys will have better tags than that. But I'm going to add that as a tag to this. Um, and we can always come back and add more tags later or even remove tags. And I'll do another video about um, categories and tags. Now at this point, I think this is pretty good. So I'm actually going to hit publish. It will go immediately to our Facebook page and be publicly available to view. So I'm going to hit actually one more thing before I hit publish. One more thing. I need to set the featured image. That's really important. Go back to set featured image. I go to here. Now, when I set that as a featured image, I don't have to scroll down again. This is what Facebook will use on the images. If you don't include a featured image, you may in fact um, get some other image that doesn't really suit your website. So I think that's enough for now. Uh, we will go into SEO a little bit later. But let's get this done and publish. So let's go publish.